Hey guys, welcome to our first video on Flu and FPV, and today we're going to be talking about setting up aux switches on the Tyrannus X9 Lite. So the first step is that you want to be in this main home screen. If you're not there, then you can just hold down exit and it'll bring you to the screen. Then you're going to push menu fast, not slow, or else you'll get into a different settings and it's gonna bring you to this model selection. So you're gonna select what model you wanna set up the aux switches on. So in my case, we're doing it with the Mobula. So I'm gonna be on the Mobula model. I'm gonna click page until I get to mixer. And for every single switch, we're gonna put it on one of these empty channels here. So for channel five, I'm gonna put my arm switch. You could name it, but I'm not gonna do that because it takes time. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hover over source and make sure that it's, when you click on it, make sure that it is flashing and that you're able to change it. So when it's blinking like this, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna flip your arm switch or whatever switch you wanna set up for channel five. And it's gonna select that automatically. So you see if I flip like a different switch, it selects that automatically. That's just a cool feature. Then you're gonna click exit and you're gonna exit out until you get back to this. And you're just gonna do that for every single switch. So once again, source. I'm gonna now do that for this switch right here at the top. And I'm just gonna flip it, it selects it automatically. And I'm just gonna do that for every single switch. Okay, so I just finished doing it for each channel. So you can see channel five, I got this switch right here. And then I have channel six, this switch. It doesn't matter what order you do or what switches, that's completely up to you. So I'm gonna have this as my arm switch, I'm gonna have this as my mode switch, or something like that. Um, I'm only doing up to eight channels, which is fine, it doesn't matter. You can use all the switches if you want. So now if we head on over to Betaflight, you can see that when I, and sorry, we don't, uh, the screen recording software is not working today, but, if I flip a switch, you can see that now I'm flipping my arm switch right here. You can now see that that channel that I set it to, which is channel five or aux one in Betaflight, is now going. And you can see all my switches are working perfectly fine. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And make sure you please subscribe so we can keep pumping out some more epic FPV content. And also right there, there's going to be a link to our Patreon that's going to help us make more videos. And also, once we have a certain amount of Patreons, we will do a giveaway on this controller right here. That is the X9 Lite. We think it's a really good option for beginners. It runs OpenTX. It's great. It's awesome. And just $2 a month can help us make a lot more videos and do a lot more cool FPV stuff. So, please do it. Thank you.